Hello, I'm Joe Stedman. That's my son Joey. And uh, today we're going to talk about Multi Man Publishing's new game, Breakout or Breakthrough Cambria or Cambra. I'm not really sure. Maybe someone can tell me how to pronounce this the right way. Here I've got the game all set up. Me and Joey were playing. We set it back up so we could show you everything. All right, so you got the paper map, the reinforcement cards, the cardboard counters. Um, I'll do a quick overview of the, the game, what comes with it, and then we'll talk about how it works. All right, so the game comes with, let's see here, it comes with a playbook and a rule book, full color. The rule book is 16 pages, and the playbook is 12 pages. The playbook has scenarios in it, design notes and things like that. Open up the rule book and show them some of the pages, Joey. That's good. Turn around. You got it. Turn around so I can everybody. Turn around. There you go. So here's the rule book, full color pages, got the uh, the uh, traditional style rules with the sub points and everything. Well read, uh, really well uh, laid out rules. All right, then look at the game. So it comes with uh, two reinforcement cards, which are over here. We can see we've already got our reinforcements all set up on there for the game. It's got two setup cards, which help you when you're setting up the game. Once you get them set up, you can stick it off the side. Two player aid sheets. These are all one-sided, good card stock. Um, with everything you need to know. Comes with four dice and then a bunch of counters and not a lot of counters and the counters are your basic uh, counters. It's like a garrison German unit. You can zoom in there. It's got its defense factor. On these it's got uh, these British units attack, defense, and movement. Alright. And then look at this. All these tanks. It's got a bunch of tanks. Alright. Uh, the map itself is paper. See, I got a paper map. I got it under a piece of plexiglass, typical. Um, impulse track, general records track, turn markers, areas. And then this is an impulse movement game. This is uh, like Mike Renella, 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 I can't pronounce his name. Like Breakout Normandy and Monty's Gamble, Turning Point Stalingrad, Thunder at Casino. So this is the newest one. This is World War One one, uh, the big British breakthrough. All right, so that's that. And on the map, uh, it's got a good, good overview map. I like it with the colors, the uh, everything's labeled, the terrain effects. Um, so this this zone seven here would have a plus two. And then it's got historical areas like these red ones are where the, the the British red units can go. The blue ones are where the blue British units can go. Some of these are ca cav release points for the the cav. Um, there you go. All right. Let's talk about how the game works. So on your turn, it's going to go. You're going to go back and forth with the impulses. There's four parts to each turn. There's the the dawn, the daylight, the dawn, the daylight, uh, the the night. All right, and then uh, so there's dawn, daylight. What's the fourth one, Joey? Oh, the end phase. Dawn, daylight, night, and... So during the dawn phase, you're going to get your reinforcements, and it's going to tell you where to put them on the map. During the daylight, you guys are going to take turns back and forth, back and forth. Each time you take an impulse, this goes up, and at the beginning of each blue, uh, British player turn, the first time he rolls is two dice, or if he doesn't roll the dice, then he'll roll the dice. He rolls, and he has to roll... If he rolls less than the impulse, the turn will end. All right, at the end of his turn. If he rolls more than the impulse number or equal to, we keep going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So there could be theoretically 12 impulses. That'd be 24 turns, one for each of us, until the end of the turn. And then at the end, we're going to go up to the next day. All right, and weather and things like that are accounted for. You roll for the weather at the beginning of the dawn. Uh, so that's how the impulse works. But on the impulse, you basically do just a few things. You can act. You activate in area. So let's say it's a German's impulse, he would activate this guys here. And so these guys here, they can move to adjacent areas, they can attack if they're in the same areas, and uh, that's about it. This game is definitely easy if you've already played other area impulse games. And I'd probably do a much more complex review if it was uh, a, a, a lesson uh, of impulse movement games. So. When you use your units, let's say they're fighting, they're you know a contested area, which means there's multiple units in the same area. So it's either German or British. If it's British, it'll have the British marker on it. Otherwise, it's German. So we're fighting in a spot, let's say that we're all in here, like this, and we're fighting. 
at the end, you if you uh, you if you use something to fight, you're going to flip it over. All right, or for taking casualties, you can flip things over. Like two, you have to take a certain amount of casualty points, so you flip things over for casualty points, or you kill fresh units for casualty points. Um, that's that. Then you got your tanks. Your tanks are like these. All your tanks are going to start off as a, a six three five, really powerful. And then at the end of each night, you have to roll to see when you after you use them, they're going to be like this. And that three just means that's a defense value only. All right. So at the night, you want to flip them back over. So you roll a die, and there's a little chart. So if you roll the right number, you flip it back over. If you roll poor, then you're going to replace that six two five with a uh, four two five. And then if the 425 is out like this and you want to fix it, you're either going to refresh it or you're going to replace it with a 215, which is always bad. All right, so that's the way the, the tanks work. Um, so it's really frustrating, those tanks. It's fast. This game is very fast because at the end of each turn, you have to roll because the British player at any time, the, the, the British general may elect that you just close down the offensive if you've not done well. So the British player has to come out fast. You're going to feel like you're always against the clock. Um, there's this advantage marker that you can flip at any time, kind of like the China card in Twilight Struggle. So you can force the, if the, if the say the game would have ended, the British player can flip this over and uh, change the general's mind. There's a whole slew of things you can do with the advantage marker. Um, what am I missing, Joey? Uh, the isn't, I don't really know. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, it's a good, clean area impulse game. I love area impulse games. I think I own every one that's ever been out. Um, so there you go. But this is World War I, which is really cool. kind of, you're using these barrage points, these artilleries. You can use these barrages to attack up to two adjacent uh, zones away, or two zones away. You've got air support. You can, you know, do strafing and things if the weather, if the weather permits. Um, it just gave me the feel of World War One when I was playing. At least the World War One I've studied and seen, uh, all quiet on a Western Front stuff like that. There you go. I like it a lot. I think it's good high quality production. So there you go. Um, Breakthrough Cambria, Cambria, by Multiman Publishing, made by uh, designed by Mike Ranilia. Um I highly suggest it. Do you like it, Joey? Yeah. Okay. And he's ten, so there you go. All right, thanks. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.